In the grand circle of time, three decades may not seem like such a long period of time. But in the life of an institution, organization, or even a nation, 30 years is a long time indeed. This is more so if in those 30 years the institution, organization, or nation in question have experienced their fair share of challenges, their highs and lows, as well as posted a record of heartwarming accomplishments in the face of difficult odds. This is also true if those years have seen institution, organization, or nation exploit numerous opportunities to enhance their profile and fortunes as they rise from one level of growth and also one dimension of accomplishment to another. From its inception, on the 26th of September, 1986, MD School, which first opened for business at its present Agidimbi location in Lagos, Nigeria, before the later expansions to its Omoli and New Okoba, also in Lagos, set itself enormous and lofty goals, namely to create a stimulating learning atmosphere of opportunities for each individual who crosses its portals in search of knowledge and self-actualization, to give children with special needs a welcoming ambience that places value on their intrinsic worth as human beings with equal rights as regular children, an atmosphere of complete acceptance, free of stigmatization and all forms of discrimination, to stimulate in each and every child the quest for the achievement of excellence according to one's individual talents and to provide excellent education that equips our children with the skills and tools to become not only men and women of success, but also of value, able to excel in global marketplace of goods, service, information and ideas. The evolution of MD School and its role as a trailblazer in the provision of first-class educational service is no accident, nor did it arise out of a whim. It began with a dream and a passion whose seed was sown many years ago in Ibadan, Oyo State, by Providence in the heart of the school's executive director, Mrs. Omolara Adedube, her husband, Dr. A.B. Adedube, now a blessed memory. We spoke and he was like, look, because you love children and you've been talking about having a school, what do you think? So I said, well, for me, I, I love to have a school. It doesn't matter the category of children, whether special needs children or regular children, but I, I love to have children because before then in our house, we found out that by Friday, my house is filled up with children and friends. 14, 16 children dropped in my house, and I, I was very comfortable with children. At MD School, administrators, teachers, and caregivers measure themselves by their ability to nourish and nurture their wards towards reaching the peak of their potentials through optimism, dedication, and hard work through the help of God in the spirit of fundamental principles enshrined in the school's core values, namely the fear of God, integrity, diligence, love, and excellence. These are the values the lovely children of MD School give voice to each school day during their morning devotions. The formal approval of the school's operation by the Lagos State Government in February 1987 gave greater impetus to the school's growth and progress as its special unit moved to its present location in April 1988 to combat the problem of extreme stigmatization of special needs children and their parents and in some cases the acute sensitivity of some parents of these children and their tendency to want to hide away which was one of the key challenges faced by the school in its early days. This school is a very good school and great school, wonderful school, good school and data school, good for education, knowledge, understanding. 
also the movement to the purpose-built campus at Okoba, which serves as the school's permanent site, was yet another milestone in the school's march to greater heights. We've had issues, I mean, situations where people would have even paid school fees and they would come. I don't even mind. I'm not even asking for this money. But my child is not going to come to the school for the handicapped children. So the issue of mainstreaming was becoming very, very difficult. By 89, April precisely, we moved the special needs children to the location at Omolina. These signposts of progress have made it possible for MD schools to fulfill its multifaceted mandate towards children of all backgrounds and skill sets. The school's programs speak to the special value each child enjoys in the estimation of his or her teachers and caregivers, who are given the best possible training to enable them not only respond to each child's every need, physical, mental, emotional, psychological, and spiritual, but to anticipate those needs well in advance. To keep the school's personnel constantly at the top of their game, as far as technical proficiency and sensitivity to the different facets of their roles in the lives of these young ones are concerned, the school embarks on periodic human capacity building programs under the tutelage of such seasoned facilitators as UK-based Dr. Dolakbo Ogumbangu and Mrs. Kofo Karunwi, among others spread around the world. MD has always strived to keep up with global trends. They've always worked at the forefront of innovations in teaching and learning. So it is not a surprise that they are like pioneering that idea in Nigeria. This uniquely proactive level of practical exposure informs the school's ability to adhere to the highest of international standards of excellence, especially where it matters most in the manner in which instructions and morals are imparted in the children. MD from the top is as a family-like setting and that the school, the children, the children, the family are playing together. I have been better able to see that in action in MD school, that you cannot isolate one. The school cannot isolate itself with only the pupils, even the parents. Neither can the school identify with only the parents. The three have to come together to form a perfect triangle. So I'm simply um, different in that. And it's making them useful to themselves as well as the general society. And they are basically the major training given to the intellectually disabled children is always you give them the vocational training because there's a limit to the education they can have. But for the hearing impaired, they can go extra mile. For the learning, hearing impaired children, they can become professors, they can become PhD holders. We also have it in our department. So MD is trying the little they can in catering for the need of these children, especially making them useful to themselves as well as the general society. From the earliest ages, where play is an important component in the instructional process to the latter stages, where a combination of creative self-expression, literacy and numeracy, memory and rigorous analytical abilities are nurtured and regularly tested. The school's paradigm of teaching and learning has produced alumni whose world-class skills and quality of leadership in their chosen professions as well as their impact in the society as a whole are widely acknowledged. I, I just believe the foundation was all set in MD and um, to, to be able to look back 30 years now is, is a fantastic opportunity to say thank you and to let all of you who are in school there now know that you have the best best foundation being built for your future at MD. And MD school built the right foundation for me in terms of my academics, English, math, and because of that I was able to withstand the rigor of secondary school and university and eventually graduated with first class in college. 
The reason for this level of success is to be found in the scope and rigor of the school's academic program, which challenges each child's mental abilities with a view to also expanding his or our license and opening up wells of previously unknown possibilities at the lower and upper elementary level. The following subjects are taught mathematics, physical and health education, English language, phonics, quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, vocational, Yoruba, information and communications technology ICT, handwriting, poetry and literature, elementary science, health education, French, music, creative arts, current affairs, Christian religious knowledge, social studies, debate and library science. At the kindergarten and preschool levels, the following subjects are taught numeracy, literacy or letter lad, nursery science, health talk, moral instruction, Christian religious knowledge, rhymes, writing, social habits, music, storytelling, phonics, oral composition, coloring, as well as equally important periods of rest, sleep, appropriate for their ages. And the school to me is like a home where I come to every day. The kind of way I'm taught here is better than the way I was taught in my former school. I like MD school because they teach well. MD school is a school of integrity, peace, and honesty. School is a great school. It's a very good school. It has a good environment to learn and good teachers. The teachers are kind to us. The compounds are neat. The teachers are true to me and it has a very safe environment. And we learn technology. I'm safe in my school and my teachers teach me well. It's good education and good morals. And it's the best school I ever had. I like MD school. It has a very safe environment. I love this school. Because the school stands for peace, integrity and excellence. True to the saying that no man and certainly no school is an island, MD School has over the years availed its staff and pupils of the benefits of partnerships with sister institutions around the globe, especially its British counterparts such as Primary, Edmonton, London, St. Werbog Primary, Bristol and Trinity Primary, Sunnydale. The school's annual French immersion program, usually undertaken in the neighboring Francophone nations of Benin Republic and Togo, has always been a memorable highlight of these highly beneficial and eye-opening engagements. It's beyond excellence, and that will stand in, if a school is good, there's less um, of effort a parent will do. Because if a school is not below standard, you're actually striving hard to make this child be up to standard too, like every other one else. But I find that I do less of the work than, you know, coming I mean, once they're done, you know, they're, they're ahead of you. You're making the statement, they're telling you, no, mom, it's not pronounced this way, it's done this way. And there's less of havoc for me because you find out that even if they're amongst their peers, you find out they're ahead. They, they, they know what is happening in town. So I think the standard is just far above excellence. And I think I give them kudos to that. I... I can only wish MDR 30 uh, more progress, more success, and more uh, commitments to developing young brains for the overall development of Nigeria. Nigeria actually needs institutions like this at this, at this time in, in our lives. school also had a structure that makes the parents work alongside the pupils. The, 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 the 
day-to-day -day activity of the child is well structured such that the parents are quite involved in it. The school also establish another structure that makes the parents seem more like students of the school. In other words, whatever aspect of the life of the children, in, a, in other words, this is cutting across the parents. The school organize programs that brings the parents to the forefront of what they should be doing, when they should be doing it for the pupils. At ND School, learning is not restricted to the classroom only. True to its commitment to nurture generations of children who are able to enhance their artistic, athletic, as well as academic competencies, the school has a vast range of extracurricular activities designed not only to build up their stamina, reflexes, and other motor skills, but also to develop and enhance important attributes such as endurance, team spirit, leadership, gallantry, and sportsmanship. These activities include swimming, ballet, and indoor games such as Monopoly, Chess, Ayu, and Lego Robotics. The pupils also undertake club activities such as Space Science Club, Red Cross, Cop Scout, Literacy or Debating Society, and I Read Book Club. A school that has set out to build role models, not just for this community in which it exists, but for the world, Nigeria and Lagos State. My kids are doing very well. I actually changed my daughter to MD and ever since then I've had a wow experience with them. We came back from a French speaking country, that was 2003, and I enrolled my kids in MD school. My daughters could not speak a word of English. It took them like six months to adjust, to write and to read. MD school is a school to be for your kids, no matter where they come from. Like a well-oiled engine, the work of MD school runs seamlessly. This is due to a leadership structure that thrives on the time-honored principle of the division of labor, as well as the importance of shared values, shared responsibilities, shared benefits. At the head of the school's organizational chart is the governing council. Uh, a journey of 30 years has made this school one of the best schools we can think around in terms of everything, academic content, infrastructure, in terms of uh, even branding. MD is a brand, is a phenomenon. It's not just education that makes a complete person. So MD school gives you that, uh, that ambience, gives you that opportunity to become who you want to be. Now in terms of education, in terms of um, ways of life, in terms of so many things. So MD, MD school is complete. As it looks back on the past 30 years with pride and a profound sense of accomplishment, the management, staff and pupils of MD School have every reason to look forward to the future with hope and confidence. As it has proved time and again in the past, MD School is able to confront and surmount every challenge with the help of the Almighty God and exploit every opportunity in its quest to become a reference point in 21st century education in Nigeria and beyond. STEM, what is STEM? The S is for science, T for technology, E for engineering, and M for mathematics. And uh, it's all about the future of our children. So, Everything in terms of the future of these children is about those four key areas. And we are trying to teach them to relate whatever they are learning, to see science in what they are learning, see technology, see engineering, see mathematics even in all of whatever they learn. The curriculum doesn't change. It is the way we are teaching them and the way they are learning. That is what we are doing now in the school so that we prepare our children very well. Here's to another glorious 30 years.